Today in the mix, it's the fourth annual Stuff the Bus special. I'm Brad Perry and I'm out at the Walmart Supercenter with everything you need for going back to school. Here we are in Prescott Valley and we are stuffing the bus. Hundreds of backpacks filled with supplies for the kids. Thanks to these great volunteers stuffing the bus. Yeah, we are so excited to be here at Liberty GMC on West Bell Road with Chris Scott, the general manager, and a whole bunch of folks who came here for one reason, to stuff the bus, right? Yeah. We've got all this and more on today's Arizona Daily Mix, and it all starts right now. morning here at AZTV. That's our building, 44th Street in Camelback. We are doing it again. It's the fourth annual Stuff the Bus. Good morning to you. Welcome inside Arizona Daily Mix. Thank you for being here with us. We did it. I can't believe it. Four years deep, and this is our Stuff the Bus special. And we've got some amazing people that we're going to introduce you to throughout the course of the show, so you do not want to miss any part of today's show. And we've got some good people who are returning, like James T. How you How doing? How you doing? It's good to see you again. It is so good to see you. we got to were... stop meeting like this. I know. Every once in a blue moon, <laughs> right? But you were here last year, and we want to tell people a little bit about you because you have an amazing connection with Stuff the Bus because you're a former teacher, but you're Absolutely. also a radio host here on 550 KFYI. People hear you, you know, for to seven and they love it because you keep them entertained so give us a little bit of insight as to why you came back again to help well us i tell out. you what love being here you know, mm -hmm. it's all about the children right, as we say on, a, on my show but I, I was a high school teacher for 10 years mm -hmm. i know what it's like to have kids be prepared for school for kids to be excited about school and it's also about the community pitching in you know not depending on other agencies but you know connection between the people right. and having this type of opportunity to come down stuff mm -hmm. the bus with school supplies for kids who really, really need it and more importantly, appreciate it. Yeah, and they do appreciate it. We appreciate you because you give back in a great way. And it's just going to be a lot of fun today. I We're going to so. go along for this ride. Again, it's the fourth annual special of Stuff the Bus here on Arizona Daily Mix. But you know we do it every day. We give away a daily prize on the show. And our prize today is Mathnasium. So you're going to have to go to our website, which is azdailymix.com in order to win that. So again... We're going to have some fun. All right, let's kick it off with today's weather. We want to give you some weather, and today it is all brought to you by Mr. Rooter. Today we're going to have temps, of course, the triple digits. It's going to be 112, mostly sunny, with high of a few passing clouds. Tonight we do drop down to 91, which isn't too bad. Tomorrow we do bump up again to 113. Prescott, always a little bit better than the valley, mostly sunny at 89. They've got cool with some clouds at 67, which is very comfortable. And that sun does shine bright again, mostly sunny at 91 tomorrow. That's a look at your weather. All right, we are back, and who do we have? We've got the big boss. Yes, the CEO, Lynn London. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Danielle. Yeah, we did it. I know, we did it. Can you believe it? We're here. Uh -huh. we're, we're halfway, you know, because yes. today we stuff the bus, mm -hmm. and then we got to take the bus to the school. Yes, and, and see the excitement the of the kids Woo. as they come alive with these backpacks. But we have so many people that jumped on board this year because we're four years in for Stuff the Bus. And it's just been overwhelming, but so exciting at the same time. That is the excitement mm -hmm. to bring new people in to see how they're enthusiastic, how it means so much mm -hmm. to them to be involved in this and then to be able to put more backpacks yes, out there to absolutely. the kids that really need them. So we want to say again a big thank you because one of our major sponsors who's carried us through this for the four years has been Walmart and they've helped out tremendously. And that's where people were going in and just buying the backpacks and being generous when they were picking up stuff for their own kids or grandkids, but doing something extra for the community. So we want to just say thanks in general too to the people in our community because look how generous they have been. We appreciate Walmart. We mm -hmm. appreciate the shoppers at Walmart. Right. And to be able to tell the stories mm -hmm. about how people, when you give them a chance, they really want to be generous. Mm -hmm. And it's just delightful to see it come out. And it shows because we're here and look at all the people that are behind us that are actually stuffing the backpacks with the supplies that were bought at Walmart, which are fantastic. And they're just basic essentials. And this just blows my mind in this day and age that there are still individuals in our community who don't have the basics. And well, and we can't we can't miss our other partners as yes. well. We have other partners right here mm -hmm. with us that have been with us through the whole thing and now I see somebody from Mr. Rooter mm -hmm. stuffing a bus. Right. I see the Phillips Law people right here with us today. Yeah, it's good. So I see the Mathnasium people that are in this with us. And we appreciate them. And we appreciate you. And again, it's our big Stuff the Bus. And right now, we're going to take you out 
with Brad, who's at Walmart right now. So Brad, take it away. Hey, out here at the Walmart Super Center, I'm very excited because it's time for back to school haircuts. Chris here with me is telling me that you guys can make sure the kids have those easy, quick out the door haircuts that they can maintain their self too, right? Right, definitely. You gotta make it easy for them. So we do a lot of like the lower fades and get rid of some of those cowlicks. And then I know with the kids now, especially those colors are really popular. Little boys, super easy. Just go up and to the side a little bit. Something they can do themselves. And then these are real versatile too. You can style it up into a little like a mohawk or. Now, did you just put paint in his hair? So this here is a little <laughs> bit of a colored gel. So uh -huh. the color is very popular right now. However, I don't like to use too many chemicals on the kids. So this is a temporary color. It'll wash right out when they're ready to go the next day. I like that. And of course, girls don't always want to get all their hair cut. So you guys also can help them knowing how to trim them just the right size, right? Just those little dead ends. Definitely. Oh, and that actually helps the grow, hair grow a little bit. It too. really does, yes. If you get those split ends there, they'll spread right up the hair strands, so you got to cut them off before they go too far. All right, I know when I had my kids getting ready for school, my biggest problem was the curly hair, and I like that you can take care of curly hair too, right? Right, we do have a lot of people here with experience with the very curly hair. There's a lot of easy twists you can do, little braids. They do all different kinds of styles for that. And I like how you make the kids feel comfortable because you guys can pretty much take what age starting at, do you? We do, um, you know, that any age as long as they'll sit still, we generally do like three and up for the most part. Um, but any kid, as long as they're ready to get their hair cut and definitely try to make it fun for them. I like that. All right, any special tips I need to give for this little guy here about getting out the door very quickly? You know, literally with this haircut, you just put some gel in there and you can make it as messy as you want if you're in a hurry or you can slick it down, make it a little bit softer, I super like fast. That. Very nice, there you go. Well, the kids are all set to go. We're not done with them because we have a great uh, fashion show coming up for you, so you guys wanna stick around for that. But we got more of our Stuff the Bus after this. We have got Libby, the Director of Operations over at Mathnasium joining us today. Good morning. Good morning, Danielle. This is a lot of fun and we want to talk a little bit about what you do over at Mathnasium because you do some great work for kids in the community. We definitely do. So Mathnasium is a math only learning center mm -hmm. where kids in grades 2 through 12 come to catch up, keep up, and get ahead in math. So we do tutoring as well as enrichment in addition to homework, help, and test preparation services for kids in math. Yes, and kids get excited about math because they break it down to where it's numb. Not stressful, but it's fun. Yeah, we're meeting the kids where they're at. Everything at Mathnasium is customized and tailored mm -hmm. to the child. So we start everyone off with an assessment, which is actually something that we are giving away today as the prize. Yes, it's so cool. So kids can come and get an assessment at Mathnasium, and that assessment is going to diagnose for their strengths and weaknesses in math. And then from there, we create a custom tailored learning plan for the child. So that way, everything is really at their level, right. and then we're taking them and getting them caught up in the course. And we do appreciate you being here. We appreciate that as a prize. But tell us a little bit about why you got involved with Stuff the Bus. Well, Mathnasium knows well that there's no better way to be prepared for a new school year, mm -hmm. like having the tools for success. So right. we're really proud sponsors of Stuff the Bus. But we also love being involved in our community. Mm -hmm. So Mathnasium, in addition to doing Stuff the Bus this year, August 1st, we are launching Teacher of the Month for the first time Ooh, ever. I love that. Teacher of the Month. That's yes. awesome. So, so, um, mm -hmm. every Everyone in the community will be able to go online and nominate awesome teachers in the community who do a lot for their classroom and for their schools and for their students um, to nominate them to be our Teacher of the Month each month. Well, I love it. There you go, Mathnasium. we got Libby here and we've got so much more, but we also got Brad out at Walmart, so take it away, Brad. Welcome back to our Stuff the Bus special. I'm Brad Perry out here at the Walmart Supercenter and we've talked about haircuts. Now it's time to talk a little bit about, of course, vision, which is very important for the kids going back to school. And they have a great vision center here to take care of all your needs. Tina, how are you? Hi Brad, how are you? This is great. This is so important for the kids to, of course, have the right eye care for going back to school, am I right? Oh, absolutely. So 80% of what children learn is presented to them visually. And so if they have clear vision, it obviously helps them with learning and advancement in school. Yeah, now I'm a parent. I know glass can be very expensive, but you guys make it easy and you make it inexpensive too, don't you? Absolutely, we cater to children. We've got lots of different character glasses, uh, glasses with different colors and exciting things for children to look at. We also, uh, if they are nonverbal, we can do exams with without the alphabet, like pictures. Um, I have equipment that I don't need the children to be able to verbalize responses to me. I 
can tell if they need glasses. I can tell if their eyes are healthy. Yeah, because a lot of kids don't speak because they don't want to look. I'm going to give the word. I'm going to get trouble for it. Nerdy, but they do not when they come here because they look stylish. Oh. A lot of kids want glasses. Yeah. Absolutely, it is. It's very fashionable. So, and then we talk about, of course, um, the eye care when they go to school, and that's by getting them cases and stuff like that so those glasses don't get scratched up or broken. Oh, right? absolutely. We can help them with any of their needs if it comes to contacts, glasses, cases, sunglasses. We've got great coatings for their lenses to protect them from the blue light from their uh, tablets and devices. So, and then I also like where we were talking just about the people in back who take care of the kids. So we've got a fantastic staff here. We've got opticians that have been here literally the whole time we've been open the last 10 years and they know the people by name. It's wonderful. We have a great staff. So I like that. All right. If my kids need glasses, do I need to make an appointment or can I do a walk-in? Both. Both. So we, uh, if you make an appointment, obviously you take precedence, but if you, if we have openings, we would love to see you walk in. So I love it. All right. Well, there you go. Getting the glasses for the kids are very important and we're not done here at the Walmart Supercenter. So you guys be ready. We are having so much fun, and we've got a Mr. Mike Broomhead here. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm two of my favorite people. I'm yeah, having a great there time. there you go. It is Stuff the Bus. We're doing it four years deep. I love it. You know, this program gets bigger every year, mm -hmm. and I was out at the, the Walmart event last week and mm -hmm. watching all of those people show up and stuff these backpacks, giving kids a chance at mm -hmm. success. It's just a great program. And it's just the simplest thing. Like when you're there at Walmart, you're picking up stuff for your kids or your grandkids, you just get some extra pencils, get some extra tablets, get some extra glue, right? And to see these kids get these backpacks and the big smile on their face, mm -hmm. excited about going to school, that's pretty fun. Yeah, and Jay James is excited too. He's here again for the second year hanging out with us. So it's all good. But you know what? We got to check in with Pat now because you know where Pat is Liberty GMC. So, Pat, do what you do best and take it away. Oh, listen, these folks so busy stuffing the bus. These folks are people like the volunteers from Boys Team Charities, Helping Hands for Freedom, uh, the Rotary Clubs. Arizona DPS, and of course some of the folks also here at Liberty GMC, where we've been just having a great time doing all this stuffing through the morning. And not only are we doing it, but so is the executives. We're talking about Chris Scott, who's the general manager here at Liberty GMC. And why did you find Stuff the Bus to be a particularly attractive thing to be involved with? Well, here at Liberty GMC, we love to give back to the community. It's such a great cause to be able to, to stuff a thousand backpacks, to give back to the kids, give back to our community. Just a great overall feeling. Well, I'll tell you, the feeling around here is really exciting, and that would only be second to the feeling that those kids have when they see what's in the backpacks. That's right. They are going to light up. They've got an opportunity to have a full backpack filled with all the necessary school supplies to carry them throughout the year. Listen, when you're talking about this kind of an involvement, we're not just talking about the boss man, GMC. Uh, you've got just about every department participating. Absolutely. We've got our body shop. We've got sales. We've got service. We've got several volunteers from Walmart helping us out as well, and quite a few volunteers from the Peoria area as well. And I imagine probably wouldn't be a bad idea to let people know where Liberty GMC is, just in case they want to check it out. Absolutely. If you guys want to come on down, we're right off 87th Avenue in Peoria, just off the 101. Well done. You've done that before. And we've done this now for several years. We at AZTV Channel 7, we are just so pleased that you could be with us. And now, back to you. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to our Stuff the Bus special. I am Brad Perry, been out here at the Walmart Supercenter talking about all things you need to going back to school. And one thing you definitely need, and that is clothing, Holly, yes, for sir. the juniors to the little ones, which mm -hmm. are so important, am I right? Yes, sir. We've got styles for just about everybody and everything you need. So a lot of things, a lot of times parents don't realize that it's kind of hard once you get to that preteen age to find things that like fit in the right places and allow you to kind of be an individual, which they really like to do at that age. But um, we've got a lot of styles and sizes that we have options to accessorize with. So for example, we've got this outfit here where we've got um, shoes that match the top and then we've got the right jeans for it. 
So, and she looks very good and stylish there. Yes, she does. And then I like where you can do a little Mitch matching over here too, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely, yep. So we've got a, a lot of key pieces that are really interchangeable. Like you don't have to buy a huge variety of things. You can buy just a couple pieces and then really interchange them with the different styles. So we've got like shirts that will match with different leggings and then shoes can tie into the whole outfit. I like that. Where, Dakota, Dakota, come here, run over here, Dakota. Get over here, Dakota, run here, come here. Come here, Dakota, <laughs> come here, buddy, come here. Come, there you are, how are you? Look, at, you gotta stay in here, all right? You gotta stay right here, look at that. Stop right there. All right, we're talking about the boys who wanna run around. Yes, yep, so. okay, so we'll be brief about it. <laughs> We've got a lot of boys' styles that will keep them cool and comfortable for the summer, and then it'll be kinda light going into the winter months, so we've got a lot of styles and fashion there. Um, and then we've got stuff for our children going into elementary school to just kinda keep them cool and fashionable for school. I like that, and they look good, all of them do very nicely. Yes. So, and then of course, if I have a child that is at one of the schools that just that have to have uniforms, we got you, you covered, too, right? Yep, absolutely. We've got a lot of school uniform choices that can be easily accessorized. They can do like um, different shoe styles, different bags, like she's wearing there. Got a lot of different options. There you go, and all the sizes right here. Yep, absolutely. And then if you can't find something in store, we have a wide variety online too that you can have shipped to your home or the store. I love it. There you go. All right, you guys are looking great for going back to school. Dakota, you're looking good for standing still right there. All right. <laughs> okay. We're having fun here. I know they are having fun out at the Liberty GMC. Okay, Kim Cummings, I know that you're used to big crowds here at Liberty GMC in Peoria, but probably this is an unusually big crowd. Well, this is a great crowd. The Stuff the Bus campaign has brought many, many volunteers from the community. A lot of our employees have been here since 6 in the morning, unloading pallets, getting ready for this big event, and as you can see, it's flowing very smoothly. This is Kim Cummings. He's the marketing director for Liberty GMC. GMC and you know uh, the reality is is that you don't have to do things like this uh, it doesn't necessarily directly relate to selling cars why are you doing it why is Liberty GMC doing it? that's a great question Pat Liberty GMC is a family owned and operated business so the family they have kids that go to school um, some of the owners um, relatives or school teachers and we know how they struggle to get these kids prepared. Some of these children going back to school don't even have the essentials that we had, pencils, erasers, backpacks, and it's important when they go back to school that they have everything that the other kids have so they fit in and they're set up for success. Oh, what a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like we're stuffing the bus. And we are. Thank you, Kim. And thanks to Liberty GMC and to all of you. Back in a moment. Thanks, back here at the Walmart Supercenter where we are talking stuff the bus. We've been talking about, of course, getting the kids all done with glasses, hair, all kinds of stuff. But what about our college students? Well, that's something they also need too, Holly. And you yes, guys sir. got everything they need from pretty much a bath mat to a toaster, but all the in-between stuff that some of the parents forget that the kids need at school, and even the kids forget. And I like that. The bath mat, what is that? Definitely. So we've got bath mats just for like a little bit of comfort. When you step out of the shower, it's something warm that you can step on so it's not so hard and cold on your feet. We got a lot of different things. So something that you mentioned is parents forget a lot of times that when you go to a dorm room, you're starting from scratch. You don't have any kind of anything there. So something we forget about, something simple, hangers. You there know, you go. just for like getting all those clothes off of the floor and everything. Um, oh. We've got coffee pots, we've got lamps, um, alarm clocks. These are kind of a thing of a past, but for us old folks, we uh, had alarm clocks that we actually set on our desks <laughs> instead of on our phone. For the backup. Yeah. So, and I like this, reminding the kids to drink lots of water. Sometimes we forget, yes. like, take the big jugs with us, right? Yeah. Well, because a lot of people are focused on their studies, but they got to keep in mind, they got to focus on keeping healthy and hydrated too. And so. I want my child's room to look very nice and stylish and that's with bedding Definitely. because there's no bedding when they get there. Exactly. Yep. Like I said, we're kind of starting from scratch. So we've got a lot of things that you can accessorize with. We've got um, bedding sets that match with all of our lamps. We've got everything they could need. So I like the shower caddy. Yep. That's very nice to keep everything organized in that bathroom where it's not all yes, over the place, sir. right? Mm -hmm. so. Yep, and another thing of the past, we were talking about the alarm clock. We've got a dish drainer for those of us that don't have dishwashers, which is a luxury. Um, a kid so. washing dishes at school? <laughs> huh, I know, that right? That to see. <laughs> so, and I like if you have your own apartment and maybe you don't have a toaster oven, 
I like that. And then mm -hmm. what's that big thing? Mini fridge. Yes. A necessity. <laughs> yep. I like can that. keep all of the snacks and study stuff in there. So, and you guys have everything they need from, of course, from the first day of college to the last day too. Definitely. Yep. It's kind of a one-stop shop, so that way you don't have to keep coming back to the store. We'll just get everything all at once and make sure they're all set up for success. Perfect. There you go. All right. We are continuing stuffing the bus from Walmart here, and of course, this is our stuff the bus special. We'll be back with more after this. It's crazy chaos and we love it. It's the fourth annual Stuff the Bus. You got Danielle, you got James, and we have got Pam from Mr. Rooter who is one of our sponsors and we love her because she helps us out a lot here in the community. So James, why don't you take it away by giving her some questions. Pam, what's, what, what's Mr. Rooter's uh, involvement in the community in this drive? Well, Stuff the Bus is really important to everybody in the community because we start with education, right? Mm -hmm. And we build our community that way. And AZTV, because they're so family oriented. Mr. Reuter, because we're a family owned and operated business, we wanted to be a partner. And so we're thrilled to be here. Well, we're glad that you're here and you do Thank so you. much. You know, you sponsor our weather, which we really do appreciate it. Thank and the people you. do love the work that you do because you are family owned. So from one family to another giving back, we want to say thank you, Pam. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Thank All right, you. you know what? We're going to scoot on over and try to talk to some of these volunteers who have been helping us out here. I'm going to go down the line here. Can I get you real quick on camera just to say hi? This is one of our volunteers. Hi. Look at this, helping us out. Thank you for the work that you're oh, doing. Of course, you're Why welcome. did you do it? Um, we just like to give back mm -hmm. to the community. We are a local in business, and we've been in practice for 32 years, and so second year we stuck the bus. Oh, I love it. All right, we got another beautiful face down here. How are you this morning? Hi, good morning. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, why are you involved in Stuff the Bus? Oh, well, I'm part of a, a Four Peaks Rotary. There and, you go. Yeah, in Mountain Hills. And yeah, we are always giving back and loving it. Loving it. Is, is and cool. we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, the volunteer. So thank Absolutely. you so much. Oh, we're just proud to do so. I love it. And they're helping with the kids. All right, we got this gentleman right here. I want to get you Hi, on camera real quick. Tell us who you're with and why you're a part of Stuff uh, the Bus. We're with the Four Peaks Rotary. There you and go. And one of the key um, attributes of our organization is we give to a lot of educational institutions. Yeah. So this is very important. It's part of our mission. All right. Well, we appreciate you. Again, it's the fourth annual Stuff the Bus. And right now, we're going to keep on stuffing with Brad out at Walmart. Take it away, Brad. I'm right here, guys. Come on. I'm having fun here at the Walmart Super Thanks, Center. Thanks, guys. You guys we were great. I love it. Bike safety and fun with my man Ace right here. Come on, guys. I'm having a good time. Ace, how so are you? Brad, you're going too fast. So, am I going too fast in the aisles? All right. Listen, uh, a lot of kids are out there riding their bikes back to school. Gets parents worried. Of and, of course, we want them to be safe. And one thing that's very important, helmets, right? Very first and foremost is your helmets. You definitely want to make sure your kids protect their head. Okay. Uh -oh. We have different varieties, kind of cool. Mix it, you know, mixes it up so it's not so boring. All okay. right. And next, you got the knee pads and elbow pad pack. That's obviously very important for safety. Protect those elbows and knees. Um, fix a flat. A lot of people don't think about that, but we got a fix a flat. It's uh, small and compact. Fits in a backpack. Um, and one thing in the winter is it gets uh, dark earlier, so we got reflectors. You, know, you can put battery battery operated so they can see them at night. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that gets lost is a, a mobile carrier, right? You want your kid to have both hands on the wheel, but if they have one on the phone and one on the hand, uh, one on the handle, it can be unsafe. I like that. Okay? All right. And then I know the kids are going to be bikes in a locked up area, but you still want them to have a lock on them, right? Of course, of course. Uh, so, you know, we offer all kinds of locks, um, different colors, you know, if they want to tailor it to the color of their bike. So, I like, and then bikes. Bikes, 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 bikes. We have a plethora of bikes here. <laughs> uh, uh, all kinds of selection for different sizes, kids and everything. I like that. And of course, you have other things that you need for uh, odds and end things if you'll find them around, which I like also keeping the pump around, right? That's yeah, also you need nice one. one. You definitely need one at home. We got hockey, golf, and tennis. I we like have all the basics you need for those. Cool. And also, I saw some weights back there, right? Yeah, we got a small section of weights. You know, curls get the girls. I'll stop. <laughs> I like it. All right, Ace. Um, can I uh, pretty much... Not supposed to be doing this, but can I ride a little bit more? One minute. One minute? All right. Give you one minute. Cool. All right. Thanks, Ace. All right. We come back. We are going to be talking uh, technology for your kids going back to school. And welcome back to our Stuff the Bus special. I've been hanging out here at the Walmart Super Center getting you all ready for your back to school needs. And one need, Michael, is technology that the kids love to have. And you have a whole array of things that uh, the kids are gonna have fun with. And that is, of course, 
Starting with Bluetooth, right? Yeah, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a technology. People are all connecting all their uh, things together. Like these speakers uh, will connect to your phone um, or a tablet, and it'll let you play music or audiobooks. So, and you mentioned tablet. Why is the tablet there? Uh, the tablet's there is because more and more people are using that to uh, do things that they a little bit more uh, need a bigger screen than their phone, but they don't need to lug a computer around far. Very easy. And then I like where the phones are there because I have a kid who always loses a phone, breaks a phone. <laughs> yeah, the phones have, have changed a lot. They go from very inexpensive to very expensive, uh, all sorts of different capabilities, so you can pick the one that fits your needs. So, and you're telling me I no longer need to, of course, have the computer right next to the desk, right? Uh, no. Uh, the computer now, uh, the uh, Printers now connect to Wi-Fi, so you can put them anywhere in your house where Wi-Fi goes. So if you want to, you can print something from your office to your bedroom. So I like that, and that's the printer we were talking about. And you have all the supplies, right? We do. We have all the supplies. So, all right, now to the computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, the computers are the same thing as phones. You can get something that uh, doesn't uh, isn't very expensive to something that's very expensive. It gives you all sorts of different capabilities. Uh, touchscreen is one of the newest things is. They all connect to Wi-Fi these days and most to Bluetooth. All right. What do you suggest if I don't want to hear my children's music going on? What do we have? Headphones. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of headphones do we have? Uh, we have headphones that are wired, that connect, or mo more and more are going wireless. So that gives you the same thing as the speakers. You can uh, listen wirelessly from your computer. All right. All right. What are these little toys down here? Those little toys are... Uh, cable protectors. They also, they make the cable look pretty, but they also protect it from bending and being destroyed, which is a big thing in these days. I like this, and you have everything they need right here in the uh, technical department, right? And yes, we do. So I like it, and even the TVs in the back. Yeah, all the TVs are in the back, tons and tons of those. So, and smart TVs, right? Oh, most of them all smart these days. I like it, smarter than when we had it, where we had to get up and turn it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Michael, for helping me out. Uh, wanting to go back to school with all the technology they have here, but I know where I do want to head out to maybe get a car or something, but that's Liberty GMC. Oh, listen, Santa's workshop has absolutely nothing on this. This is the stuff the bus line. All of these people are putting in school supplies, and I think you know by now the school supplies all go in backpacks. And people like the folks from DPS, your name, sir. Uh, my name is Trooper Goodman. Okay, and listen, I don't want to stop things, so okay. let's just keep going on as far as progress right. is concerned. Okay. Is this the first time you've been uh, involved with the Stuff the Bus activity? This is my personal first year, yes. I've got, I haven't done this before. And you did it before in what capacity, if not a fellow with a badge? Um, as far as this program, I've never been involved in this program before, but I'm we're glad to be here to help out with the kids to get these. Yeah, well, we're very happy too. And where uh, where do you normally do DPS activities? Uh, my position is over in Metro, the Metro East area, Metro South area, Chandler, Mesa, Tempe, Gilbert. All that area is mostly my position over there. We thank you for that oh, and you. for this too. Thank you. Hi, who's this? Good morning, Don Fellows. And you are Sergeant. I appreciate the fact that you have that title and it causes me to stand even straighter. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to hold up activities because you have important work to do here. Absolutely. Because next, after you get all of the school supplies, you got to make sure that it goes into the backpack. Absolutely. And then what? Uh, well, then we're going to close this thing up and put it over in the... Uh uh, boxes over there and then it's eventually going to end up in the bus. That's right. Yeah. And eventually, after it goes into the bus, it also winds up in somebody's needy hands because they get all of these backpacks stuffed full of school supplies that an awful lot of the kids might not necessarily ever have had before. We're at Liberty GMC and we are stuffing the bus. Now, this is Felipe with Union Home Mortgage. We want to say good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having us here. Yeah. We're just really happy to be able to help and give back to the community. Our Glendale and Scottsdale branch decided to team up 
we don't just believe in helping people get into their homes, but we also believe in giving back to the community and what better way with helping education. I know education is stuff the bus. And is, it, is it a little bit overwhelming though when you got here? It <laughs> is, it is, but it's a lot of motivational mm -hmm. spirit here. Everyone's here to help and I think everyone's genuinely from their heart yeah. are wanting to give back to the community and that's what we need, more community involvement. So we, yeah, and we want to do say, this is James over here, we want to do say thanks again for being a part of this and um, because you know if it wasn't for people in the community like yourself and your business and the work you do, where would we be, right? Exactly, exactly. And if we don't invest in our children, mm -hmm. our future, you know, that, that, that's the key to it, success for yeah. our country to be strong, educated, and move forward. All right, Felipe, well, we appreciate you again. Well, he welcome. is a volunteer here for Stuff the Bus with Union Home Mortgage. Right now, we're going to send it out to Brad, who's doing more work out at Walmart. Take it away, Brad. Ah. I'll tell you guys, here at the Walmart Supercenter, the pharmacy is one of the important places for you to get all your things that you need for the kids, especially heading back to school with allergies, with colds, and with bumps and bruises. Am I right, Carrie? That's right. And you guys carry all that for them, don't you? We do. We do, absolutely. We have things that you can either set up, you can either buy a kit for yourself or you can make your own. And here are the things that I think are the most important to be in a kit. You definitely want eye wash because kids are always putting stuff in their eyes, even if it's inadvertently. Some um, triple antibiotics, some band-aids, and I, I want a variety of band-aids, but I also want kids' band-aids for the little ones because they really enjoy that. Um, for the bigger wounds, we want a pad, a hand sanitizer, a hot and cold pack, some hydrocortisone, some anti-itch cream. I always wound wash, okay. or if you want a wash that's going to actually like wipe stuff away, I like the hurt-free one because the kids are really sensitive about that. Right. Some afterbite, a thermometer, and then some paper tape for those larger gauze. And that's nice to have a little kit at home for mm -hmm. you, right? I like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And we also offer immunizations. We can give the kids their booster shots. And most importantly is once we get the flu vaccination in for this flu season to get them vaccinated as soon as possible. Now, of course, as I said before, kids getting sick and needing yep. to have something to take care of those colds. Yeah, you absolutely. guys have everything here for the children, don't you? Yes. A multiple vitamin is important, especially for kids going back to school. We want to make sure that they've got all the nutrients that they need. Um, allergy medication, there's several different ones. One of my recommendations is the Benadryl. It's the standard go-to. Um, then you've got the multiple cold symptoms for when kids, I like a daytime and a nighttime because the nighttime's a little bit different to help them quiet that cough during sleep. And then ibu obviously ibuprofen for any inflammation and swelling. Right, and we want to remind parents that out there that make sure you check with your kids school about sending these kind of medical things with them because remember they're not supposed to have medicine in there but they can have band-aids in their back uh, pouches and stuff like that backpacks yep. but this is also important too for home and that is a kit right yep a kit and this one is kind of nice for the car so if you're traveling just stick it in the car um, I wouldn't keep it in it when it's 210 degrees. <laughs> no, <but> <laughs> <in there. laughs> so, the ointment will not like that. <laughs> so, also, there's a very important number that everyone should have at home. And what is that? Absolutely. The poison Control Center number is the one number I would have. And I would have it someplace handy where you know where you can find it right away. Like even on your kit so that you have it and again know where it is. Well, thank you, so, Karen. Thank you. So there you go, Art. We got everything taken care of for, of course, those colds and runny noses and bumps and bruises. So when we come back, we're going to get you healthy food. Well, the fun continues here at Arizona Daily Mix. It's our fourth annual Stuff the Bus. And we are going to kick it off right now with some weather because things are heating up not only inside the building, but also outside. It's all brought to you by Rhea's Home Performance and Air Conditioning. It's going to be another scorcher right off the top, 112 today with a high of a few passing clouds. Also, temperatures are going to drop down tonight to 91, and tomorrow we bump right back up again to 113. Prescott, you know Prescott's always really nice. They're going to have a nice 89 degrees today. 
tonight under mostly sunny skies, but tonight it gets cool in the upper 60s, which is very pleasant. And tomorrow it looks like mostly sunny skies with a high of 91. Good times with the weather there. Hot outside, but hot in here as well. We got the excitement continuing, and we have got Heather from Jimmy John's joining us because we got to feed our volunteers. Oh, absolutely. It's so nice of you to be here, and thanks again for being a part of this. No, absolutely. I love it, Heather, and you have such an enthusiasm for um, Jimmy John's. Oh. And we love that you love Jimmy John's because we love Jimmy John's. So tell us a little bit about why you got to be a part of Stuff the Bus. Um, well, we obviously want to give back to the community. That's mm -hmm. the most important way. Get out there, get free. So we uh, wanted to donate some sandwiches to you guys with our Jim Jimmy Mini Packs. Jimmy Mini Packs. <laughs> and we love those Jimmy Mini Packs. Different types of sandwiches, and we got to feed these hungry volunteers. And you guys are all over the valley, too. And you saw me you oversee, what is it, 18 stores? 18 stores in the Scottsdale Phoenix area, yeah. You are so busy. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy. I love it. Just like we're busy here, you're busy, and we got these volunteers we're going to be feeding. And speaking of feeding, we still got Brad out at Walmart talking lunches right now. So, Brad, take it away. All right, back here at the Walmart Supercenter, where we've been talking back to school and stuff in the bus. And one way to make sure the kids are healthy going back to school, and that's by making healthy lunches. And you guys have everything they need right we here, don't sure they, Tori? Do, Brad. We so, sure do. I like this, and, and it's fun for what the kids can do. What are they doing down here? So down here, we have snacks that um, kids can actually prepare themselves. So we have some healthy celery, and then some peanut butter, chocolate chips. You can do raisins, anything that they can grab out themselves and just make it here and there. So we've got bananas, pretzels, everything that they need to make, get creative with it, and it's healthy, and it's easy to make. And fun to do. And Absolutely. I like where you even have the little Tupperware they can put them in and be all set to go. Yep. So, and then what do we have here? This is kind of neat. This is just some easy to go stuff, right? Right. So this is for if you don't have any time and you're on the go. Uh, we've got some granola bars, some applesauce, you know, fruit snacks, just things that you can throw in your backpack, take with you, you know, for those kids that are always on a go. All right. And if my kid wants to be a gourmet cook and make their own lunches, <laughs> which I'm not going to let them do, but of course they can make them in other ways. True. So over here, um, these girls over here are making their very own Lunchables. So we have little Tupperware for them to take it with them, and then they're making the little sandwiches. It's really easy, you just get some meat, some cheese cubes, some crackers, and they can even throw it together themselves. You can make it for them, prep it for the next day, and then they can take it with their, their lunch, whatever they want to do. And I see that kids will eat more and eat healthier if they're making Absolutely. their own, right? Absolutely, it's a fun way to get them involved. And they're also, you're, you know that they're eating healthy. So they're having fun and they're eating healthy. I love it. Thanks. What more can you ask for? Hey, I know. That's what you're going <laughs> to do. So thanks. All right, you girls having fun down here? Yeah? Are we, how's those ants down there? Good? All right, <laughs> save me some, all right? There you go. All right, we're finishing up here making some healthy lunches. But they are stuffing the bus up in Prescott also. So we are stuffing the bus here in Prescott Valley with the Firefighter Angel Foundation. And I've got volunteer Patty Perkins with me. Hey, Patty. Hey, how are you? Tell you, you guys are doing great work. Tell me a little bit about the Firefighter Angel Foundation. You guys do so, a lot of great stuff. Our foundation is in our 11th year. We try to serve as many families in our communities as we can. Last year, we were able to, to, to do Christmas and backpacks and other types of needs for children, uh, over 5,000 children last year. So uh, it was incredible. Well, and here you are continuing the tradition. You have more than 1,500 backpacks that you guys are putting tons of school supplies in. Correct. You know, that's not an inexpensive thing to do. How did you get all the materials to go in these backpacks, Patty? So AZTV7 helped us tremendously this year with some other partners, Walmart, the Heights Church here in Prescott Valley have all come together to provide supplies for us and our tremendous community, community members all came together, bought supplies, have donated them, dropped them off for us. So we've just had a, a, a tremendous, tremendous response Oh, you guys are, are, you know, really dedicated to this. You were out at Walmarts, like, getting supplies from people that were shopping too, right? Last weekend we were out at all of the Walmarts uh, in the monsoon storms, uh, brave in the rain, and people were bringing us stuff. And as we're filling the bus and getting the bus fuller and fuller, People are still coming out and handed us more stuff as we're finishing up. So oh, I tell you, it, that it was is a incredible. incredible response. Well, you, as you said, you've got all these volunteers from the uh, Firefighter Angel Foundation. They're putting all these more than 1,500 backpacks Correct. together. Now, these go to needy kids and stuff, or, or kids who are looking for great school supplies who need those. Now, what, what school districts are you dealing so with? So we're, we're helping with the Prescott Unified School District, Humboldt, Chino Valley School District. We've also uh, helped the communities of Mayer and Seligman, uh, Wilhoy 
right over in that valley area. Uh, pretty much everywhere in central Yavapai County, we're able to, to touch these children. Incredible. So, and how do they get their supplies? So if parents are looking for some help with school supplies for their kids, please have them call their district offices of their school district, and they have giveaway days where they can come and pick up backpacks. Wonderful. And if they wanted to donate to the Firefighter Angel Foundation, which again has helped more than 5,000 kids this year. Yes, thank you. Uh, we can. We have a Facebook page. You can go onto our Facebook page, and from there, that'll direct you to where you can give your donations. We would certainly appreciate any help anybody could offer. Fabulous. Yeah. Thank you, Patty Brookins, thank and you so all much, the volunteers Patty. with the Firefighter Angel Foundation who's stuffing those backpacks. And uh, stay with us because we've got more stuff. The bus stuff coming up on Arizona Daily Mix. Welcome back. I've been hanging out here at the Walmart Super Center giving you all those great tips on going back to school. And now it's time for our favorite part, and that is where we teamed up with Walmart to stuff our bus with those school supplies for the kids to go back to school. But what I like, Holly, is that we're not breaking the bank for parents that need to get the things for school, right? Right, exactly. We don't have to spend a fortune on it. And we've got a lot of variety, too, with the different kinds of school supplies that we need for so, school. So let's start down here. Paper. Yes. Oh. Yep, we got all the different kinds. So we got our spiral notebooks, we got our composition notebooks, we've got loose leaf paper for binders if they need it. Love it. And then I noticed you have pens. Yes, we have all <laughs> different brands, all different colors, anything you could need. So, and let's go through some of the other supplies that you have here that people might not realize, and that is the colored pencils and crayons. Too. Yeah, definitely. For the smaller kids that need to get together an art box for arts and crafts class, we've got all kinds of crayons and colored pencils. We've got scissors and glue sticks. And then the best part, backpacks. Oh, yes. I'm telling you what, my kid changes their mind every, every single year. So last year he liked Iron Man, but this year he might want to go with a, a simpler design, just a sleek black and gray kind of thing, because he's getting older, you know, he doesn't want the little kid stuff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now if I'm one of those parents that's like, I don't know what to get the kids, what happens, I'm gonna be stressing a little bit, you guys take that off them, don't you? Yep, we got you covered. So the Walmart in your local area should actually have a list compiled from all the schools in their surrounding area of what they need based on the grades. I love it, there you go. Yep. Everything's all taken care of it for you, for your back to school needs. Yep. We thank Walmart for teaming up with us for Stuff the Bus 2019. Yep. I've been excited and having fun with the kids out here. And you know, you can have fun too by helping us stuff the bus when you go to your local Walmart here in the Phoenix area and start stuffing along like we've been stuffing along. Guys, I'll toss it back to you in the studio. All right, we're stuffing the bus as it continues here. I'm inside the AZTV studios. As you can see, this is the sales department. We're having a lot of fun. We've got all the volunteers here with us helping us stuff the bus. We're going out to the bus right now. This is so exciting. I'm going to be loving this because this is where the magic happens at the bus. Look at that. We got Liberty GMC here. We got the school bus here. This is fantastic. And all our volunteers with these lovely backpacks stuffing the bus as they walk around. This is great. Helping them out with the they need to start the year off right. Volunteers keep coming, and this is fantastic. So, again, thanks to all of our volunteers, our sponsors. Full school bus. We're here this at another GMC. Here. 8660 West Bell. And I will tell you right now, when you're talking about stuff in the bus, we're also stuffing some really good looking high fashion backpacks. I mean, here's Fast and Furious. We got Captain Marvel here. How about that for high fashion, huh? And uh, it, I, the reason I go through this is because I want, I want you to know, kids aren't just getting the stuff that mom and dad would pick out. These are the things that the kids really, really love. And what I love to see is a whole bunch of folks like this. Hi. Hi, listen, I am so delighted to have you here, particularly because all I have to do is hold the microphone and you get to stuff the bus. Okay, who are you representing? Um, we're here with Boys Team Charity. It's a, um, an organization that teen boys and their parents do community service projects throughout the, the area. And your name? My name is Kelly Hargis. And Kelly, we're delighted to have you Happy with us. Here. Stuff on the bus. Uh, have you ever done this before? Never. This is our first year, myself and our two sons. It's now, great. Okay, there's a whole bunch of people that want to know the answer to this question. Okay. This is the tough one. Are you ready? Okay. Would you do it again? Oh, 
my gosh, yes. You know, summer is about having a good time, but really what's important is going back to school and looking forward. Ooh. So we're really excited to be I here. I sure am glad we stopped to talk to you two. <laughs> and your name? Jane. Thank you so much, Thanks. Jane and Kelly. And I guess you know who you are. You're the folks who are watching us stuff the bus. Back in just a few minutes. from Mathnasium. This is going out to Christina Willingham. Thank you so much for watching the show. We appreciate you. And we appreciate all of our sponsors. We got our CEO, Lynn, here. We got James here from 550 KFYI. We've got our volunteers, our sponsors, and we got you at home and the community. Thank you.